don't miss. Sussex held back to strongly tortured by Spotify in disinformation scandal. London Joe Rogan's misinformation scandal has reportedly scared Meghan Markle and Prince Harry into rethinking long-term plans with the streaming giant. This news has been brought to light by royal commentator Neil Sean, via YouTube. He explained, Harry and Meghan are having a rethink about where they're going with their individual podcasts and their programming. We know that they were a bit upset about the Spotify association with the comedian podcaster Joe Rogan. But could the picture be and they're looking for a brand new deal? It will be difficult to leave Spotify right now because they haven't really delivered anything. He also added, but moving forward there's always the bigger deals on the table and for Harry and Meghan, they do look at Michelle and Barack Obama as a template for them. The sort of people they would like to follow in the footsteps. They see them being a very successful brand that's admired around the world. This could be the route Harry and Meghan want to go down. They really do look at them for inspiration and ideas. In the meanwhile, Prince William has reportedly been growing resentful of Meghan Markle, with each passing day since her claims against the royal family went public. This revelation has been made public by royal author of the Palace Papers, Tina Brown. She explained how utterly disgusted Prince William felt after Meghan Markle's claims. She touched on it with the Palace Confidential and admitted, it was such a shame. It was described to me as civil which is palace courtier for what the rest of us would refer to as frosty. Back in 2020, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle signed a multi-million dollar deal with Spotify to host and produce a variety of podcasts, as Page Six reported, but as of yet the celebrity couple hasn't followed through on their agreement, they've only released one episode that aired nearly two years ago, via Newsweek. The Daily Mail confirmed in January that Spotify was putting the call out for producers to help the Sussexes finally get something across the line, especially since their first series was slated to drop a year prior. The reason nothing has come of it might be that Meghan and Harry aren't willing to give Spotify what they want. Pre Express, the Daily Mail's royal editor Rebecca English claimed the couple could have been asked to discuss their lives as working royals, but Harry assured his grandmother he would never do that. Speaking on podcast Palace Confidential, English pointed out that, despite inking lucrative deals with both Spotify and Netflix, they've precious little to show for it. English noted, we keep on hearing things are coming but they don't seem to have materialized yet, adding, I think it's fair to assume that there will be a lot of pressure on them to produce. Markle's female-fronted series Pearl was dropped by Netflix amid cutbacks at the streaming giant, via Express putting the Sussexes deal with them in serious danger. And now, the Duchess' latest move has fans waiting on her podcast debut scratching their heads. Meghan Markle's dwindling image could be about to take another hit as her latest publicity stunt is being questioned by social media users and royal experts alike. The Duchess sat down with feminist icon Gloria Steinem for a conversation about Roe v. Wade, for Vogue, during which she asserted, this is having a very real impact on women's bodies and lives starting now. She went on to ask, what does this tell women? It tells us that our physical safety doesn't matter, and as a result that we don't matter before reaffirming, but we do. Women matter. There are certain commentators who believe the former actor should have saved her strong words for her upcoming Spotify podcast archetypes even claiming the platform won't be impressed she chose to use a different venue. As royal author Kinsey Schofield argued on Twitter, the entire world has been waiting for this woman to drop a podcast that promises to dissect, explore and subvert the labels that try to hold women back and she took this conversation to Vogue. If I were Spotify or Netflix, I would be pulling my hair out.